What's up, Claire? Hey. So this is it, huh? Just you and me? End of days? <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you talked to Ron lately? Ron is in Barbados snorkeling for the ever-elusive double-back saddlefish, and he left explicit instructions not to be disturbed. <laughs> yeah, well, if you own this place, you'd be out to Barbados, too. Sure I would, especially if I had two saps back at home waiting to cover for me. Oh, did you get your camera fixed? No, it's totaled. I have to send it back to Panis, suck ass. I have my microphones, though, so we can make do with EVP investigations. Okay. Oh, hey. That reminds me. I have to show you something. So, I was trolling around on some of the paranormal forums last night, and I came across something pretty interesting. You're definitely going to want to see this. What is it? Hold on. What? Look closely. I missed it the first time. It's gonna blow your mind. Really heavy. God, every time. Oh, my God. <laughs> what room did you take? Uh, 216. Of course. Hey, I've been here since last night. That's just the way it goes. 225 is taken. Other than that, it's pretty much... Uh, wide open. Second floor only, though, remember? Third floor is already done. Only one guest? Brutal. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out why this place is going out of business. Mm, okay, I'll take room 214. I figure we'd take uh, seven to seven shifts, something like that. All right, sounds good. I'll bring it back down. your room key, number 224. You want to head up to the top of the stairs and take a right, and then another quick right, sort of like a dog leg. And then uh, you go about halfway down the hallway, and it's on your right-hand side. You can't miss it. Thank you.
Do you know who that is? It's Lee Ann Reese Jones. Okay. She was the mom on like Mother Like Son. Dude, she's super famous. Okay, whatever. Oh, man. Lee Ann Reese Jones. I don't know what she's doing here. She's guest speaking at some convention in Pottstown. How do you know that? She told me. What? Well, what else did she tell you? Nothing. Why are you acting so weird? I'm not. Well, here's her autograph. Just relax. Whatever. Why are you being so grouchy today? I'm not. I'm just stressed. The sight is killing me. Let me see it. Hmm. Looks good. I hate wedding design. That looks really good. I like the, uh, the little ghosts. It's not the most professional, but it's not bad. There's a lot of money in this right now. I just I have to act fast. Looks really good. I like it. And, you know, once we get some proof on there, it won't even matter what it looks like. Hey, so I was thinking. It seems like whenever something really creepy happens, nobody else is around, right? Like, every time you've seen stuff, you were alone. So, I was just thinking that since the hotel is practically empty, we might have a good chance of making some real contact. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I think this weekend's gonna be it. We're gonna get something good. I can feel it. What? 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 Front desk. Yes, Miss Reese Jones. Oh, sure, I'll sign right up for you. You're welcome. I forgot to stock the towels. I'll get them. Good, save me the ulcer. That Gale on 225 is driving me nuts. I don't want her to see me. Ooh, the lady with the, with the kid? I know, what's her deal? She's giving me total aggro vibes upstairs. She had a huge fight with her husband, and she's staying here until Sunday with her son as payback. She's having a very hard time, and she wants him to realize how hard his life is without her. How do you know all that? She told me. Why do you always seem so surprised that I talk to the guests? Mm. Go on, super fan. Don't keep the talent waiting. Miss Reese Jones, I have your towels. Miss Reese Jones? Oh, be a lamb and hand me one of those. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Miss Reese Jones. Call me Lee. Okay. <sighs> What's your name, sweetheart? Claire. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Claire. Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't. I couldn't. Come on, you'll hurt an old lady's feelings. Thanks, Miss uh, Lee. I'm a really big fan of yours. <laughs> like, Mother Like Son is one of my all-time favorite shows, and you were amazing in it. And in uh, The Waking of Eleanor, I love that film. <laughs> and yeah, I used to watch it all the time when I was growing up with my mom. I even used to wear my hair in, like, little braids like you did, and I mean, they never looked as good, though. <laughs> well, thank you. It's very nice of you to say. And what do you do, Claire? I work at the front desk. So if there's anything else that you need, just let me know. I mean, this is our last weekend open, so Luke and I are the only people on staff today. 
Yeah, we're actually sleeping here instead of going home. It's pretty crazy. I meant in life. Are you, uh, <clears throat> inspiring actress? Is that what makes you such an astute fan of my work? Me? No. I, I just work at the hotel. But I'm, I'm just kind of like, you know, in between stuff. Okay. Uh, Claire. <clears throat> the towels. Right. Of course. Yes. There you go. How'd it go? You two gonna collaborate on something? She kinda made me feel like an asshole. Well, she's an actress. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> what do you know about actresses anyway? I don't know a lot, but I do know a little bit about a lot of things. <sighs> Why'd you have to be such a bummer? And why do you have to be so negative? I'm not negative, I'm a realist. There's a difference. You're pessimist. Pessimism is just a higher form of optimism. If you expect nothing from people, then you go through life being pleasantly surprised. Yeah, well, nobody loves an albatross. I'm gonna get some coffee, you want anything? I do not. Fine. can I get for you? Um, uh, tell you what, you take your time, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Doesn't a cyclops always have one eye? What do you mean? Never mind. Um, <clears throat> I will have a large soy mocha latte with a pop of caramel. Good choice. So, uh, how are things going next door? Um, uh, fine. frankly with you. I mean, I know we don't know each other that well, but I see you all the time, and we're all girls here. This Sunday, my boyfriend is taking me on a picnic to the Bay, and I'm really excited. I know it's gonna be super romantic, and I think that I'm not letting myself be fully excited because there's something in our relationship that's been bothering me, which is that we've been together for almost a year, and he still has not told me that he loves me. And I just need to talk to somebody about it because I don't want to ask him to tell me. I mean, he said it on I Am. That's the thing. He said it on I Am, which my friend says doesn't count. It's like saying I love you during sex. It doesn't count. And so I wonder if... Where's your coffee? They ran out. Is that annoying girl still there? Ugh, yes. What a fail block. Epic. Hmm. Do you ever think about when you dropped out of college and wonder if you made the right choice? Every day. 
Why do people have such high expectations? Everything happens for a reason, Claire. Nobody just ends up at the Yankee Peddler. I guess. You know what really gets me, though? Hold that thought. My eyes feel like they've been doused with Tabatillo. I need to go upstairs. What? I'm sorry, I'm dead. We can talk about your upcoming quarter-life crisis tomorrow. I just need to tap out right now. Fine. Leave your computer, though. What? I'm not gonna hack the system. I just wanna look up a pair of high tops. And it gets really boring when there's nobody else at the hotel. And my book sucks. Okay, just be careful with it. Duh. Oh, and if you get the itch to do any recording, the recorder is charging in the back office. You remember how to use it. You just plug the microphone into the... Uh, I know how to do it. I get it. You just hate to be a ghost in this hotel tonight. Good night, Claire. Good night, Luke. your website. <gasps> wow, don't let me forget to remind him about this. Work this thing.
I don't want to scare you, but I'm standing right behind you. Sorry. Fuck! What the fuck? Oh, my God! Jesus Christ! You scared the shit out of me! What are you doing over here, anyway? I thought I heard a noise, dude. Like what? Okay, well, I, I woke up and I, I couldn't get back to sleep, so we can switch now if you want. Fuck, okay, God. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I'm coming. Do you know the story of Madeline O'Malley? She was the woman that died here in the hotel. She hung herself after her fiance stood her up on their wedding day. The original owners of the hotel thought it would be bad press and hurt the business. So they hid her dead body in the wood cellar for three days before they could smuggle her out onto the loading bay. When the people of the town finally figured out what had happened here, they were outraged. So the owners had to close the hotel down and were forced to sell it. Nobody came through here again until the 60s. And ever since then, people have reported seeing the ghost of Madeline O'Malley roaming the hallways waiting for her lover. Some say she's even looking to take up a new one. Excuse me, what are you doing? Mommy! What's going on? She so... said there's a ghost in the hotel. She said it's coming to get me. I, I never said that. What is the matter with you? He's just a child. Sweetie, sweetie, it's okay. It's not real. Just a story, okay? Right? Come here. I don't need this. I have enough going on in my life. Yes, ma'am. And you, we still need towels. I am tired of asking. Don't make me the bad guy in this. Right. We're in room 225. Yeah, I know which room you're in. I work in the hotel. Come on, sweetie. It's a silly story, right? bought that cheap bread I could taste it. Never skimp on bread. You always regret it. So, why do you think she sticks around here? Beats me. The rates aren't that cheap. The uh, courtyard by Marriott out on Route 13 is much better. No, not her. I mean, Madeline. What do you think she wants? I don't know. I don't spend my time trying to figure out what women want, especially dead ones. Please. Huh. Well, when you saw her, what did she look like? Mm. Like, was she all dead looking? The thing about physical encounters is you don't really remember the details. It's weird, because you think you would, but it's like she was there one minute and then gone the next. It's almost like she was never even there at all. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You kind of just had to be there. I'm so jealous. But if I saw her, I probably would have freaked out. <laughs> can't believe you never had your camera with you. I oh, know. Kills me. You down for some recording tonight? Mm. Definitely. We've got to find some proof that my little Mally really exists. Before this place closes down, we have to. I mean, imagine how she feels being stuck here forever. We got to get something on tape. It's like a moral imperative.
Luke, you are not going to believe what just happened to me. Snake, don't forget to record. I left a list for you on my desk. Okay. Enjoy your internet porn. This is EVP recording of the laundry room. Luke, I'm skipping this one. There's nothing in here. This is the EVP recording of the banquet room. I'm trying to contact the spirit of Madeline O'Malley. Madeline, if you can hear me, please give us a sign. Luke, you said this thing would be set up.
Claire, I still have like two hours left, man. Dude, you have to listen to this. The piano was playing by itself. I think it was her. Come on, I'll be down at seven. I'll listen to it then. No, no, I'm scared. Uh, actually, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I think I just freaked out for a minute, but I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Well, I'll be down in a few hours, all right? Okay. Do you mind keeping it down? Do I have to ask you again? You know what? Just back off, okay? You're asking me what I do the other day? Well, I just recorded an unexplainable phenomenon. There's a ghost in this hotel, and I got it on tape, but it's a big deal. So just leave me alone. Come with me for a moment. Here, sit. You need a drink. Cheers. <laughs> you all right? Mm-hmm. Tell me about what you saw. I... Look. I'm sorry about yesterday. I have a tendency not to be a nice person. I know that. Please don't take it personally. I don't apologize more than once. Look. <clears throat> I can help you with what you're looking for. I just need to know what it is that you're looking for. I'm sorry, help me with what? Do you know what this is? It's a pendulum. It's used to answer life's more uh, difficult questions. Do you know why I'm here? You're speaking at an acting convention in Pottstown? No. I'm not here for acting. I'm here as a guest at a healer's gathering. That's what I do now. It's my true calling. Claire, everything in this world is connected. Whether we understand that or not depends on our sense of perception, our willingness to communicate. Now, you want to communicate with the spirits in this hotel? I can help you do that. I just need to know what it is that you want from them. I don't know if, if they're real, the, the ghosts, spirits. is no real in this world, Claire. It's all a state of being. There are no beginnings. There are no ends. There are no ghosts. We're each divine beings that incorporate one energy in the universe, like uh, 
droplets of water in a vast ocean. The universe has a plan for each and every one of us. Now, I want you to ignore what your conscious mind tells you and open yourself up, okay? What is it that you want from these spirits? I want to know if it was Madeline O'Malley playing the piano downstairs and if she really is the spirit living in this hotel. This time, close your eyes and really concentrate. Open yourself up. Really ask it, ask it directly. Are you the spirit of Madeline O'Malley? Did you die in this hotel? Was that you playing the piano? Maybe I won't say who they are. They? There are three of them. What do they want? Same thing you do. But they're not alive. There was a terrible tragedy in this hotel. Something about the basement, a, a mistake. It's her, it's Madeline, that's where they, that's where they hid her body. You mustn't go down into the basement. Why? Is that where she's trapped? Is her spirit trapped in there? You can't save her. They tried to warn her. They tried to help her. Who's they? What do they want?
it. I've had enough. We're going back to your dad, okay? Drink. about Gozer and her demon seed leaving. You actually did us a favor. Claire, you're really freaking me out. You gotta pull it together. You're way out in the weeds right now. It happened to me when I first started messing around with all this stuff. You really gotta be careful about what's going on up here. You start thinking you're seeing things and it might never stop. Okay, okay fine. The dream is one thing, but what about the piano? And what about everything that Lee said? I listened to the piano tape I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's explainable, maybe it isn't. But it's not worth getting yourself worked up over. None of this stuff is. As for the kook upstairs, look, Claire, how many times have you seen someone on late night TV hawking their psychic wares to an audience full of rubes? Tons, right? And how many times have you seen a psychic in the newspaper solving crimes or healing someone without medicine or winning the lottery? Almost never, right? That's because it's all bullshit. It's hocus pocus. That woman upstairs is just an insecure old actress and she's just trying to stay relevant. It's pathetic. Okay. Don't, don't you want to try to figure out what's going on here? I mean, why aren't you more intrigued by this? I mean, this could be it. This could be Madeline trying to make contact and, and, and you just don't even care. Isn't this supposed to be your deal? I... I swear to God, if that bitch is back with her kid... Be cool. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like a room for the night, please. Okay, just one night? Yes. I'd like room 353, please. I'm sorry, sir, that room's not available right now. We only have rooms available on the second floor on account of this being our last weekend open. No. I must have room three, five, three. Yeah. Please. This is very important. Important to me. I came a long way. Sir, um, all the rooms on the third floor have been stripped, so if you don't mind bringing up some sheets and sleeping in a room without furniture, then I think we could help you out. That would be fine. Okay, well, if I could just get a credit card for the reservation. I'll pay cash. Okay, but we usually need a credit card in case there's any damages. Take this. Have a nice day. That was very kind of you helping me out back there. Oh, it's no problem. I mean, I figure pretty soon this whole place is gonna be a parking lot anyway, so if somebody wants a certain room, who am I to stop them? It's really no big deal. Sir? Thank you. Three, five, three is where I spent my honeymoon. Oh. 
This old place holds some special memories for me. It's interesting to come back to a place that feels like you never left. Almost like you're right at home. Don't you think? I don't know. Why don't we get you upstairs? So, like we said, the rooms have all been cleaned and stripped, and most of the furniture and linens are in storage. But lucky for you, the owner was too cheap to hire real movers, so all the beds are still here. The room might not have quite the same charm that you remember, but at least you'll be sleeping on the floor. It's all right. I'm just here for one last bit of nostalgia. OK, well, here we are, room 353. Honeymoon suite. And uh, if you change your mind and decide that you want to move to room with TV, just let us know. Uh, that won't be necessary. This is just what I came for. So much. Okay, well, we don't stay. I'm gonna stay up all night with you. You're gonna get drunk with me. Cheers. How you feeling? Better. Good. Keep drinking. It always helps. How was your seminar? Very good, thank you. How are you two doing? Not bad. You want a beer? Oh, no, thank you. Really? I heard you're a huge drinker. Why don't we all have our moments? So, Lee, tell me, how does it all work? How does what work? You know, being a psychic and all that. Well, uh, have you ever been somewhere new and sworn that you've been there before? Like deja vu. Exactly. Well, if you've ever experienced what you call a deja vu, then you have the same God-given ability I have. In fact, we all do. It's just that, <clears throat> well, sometimes my deja vus happen in another direction. I can experience certain feelings before they happen. But it's not always clear when or where they come from, so I have to be very careful in what I choose to share. OK. Well, <clears throat> I'm really tired, so I'm going to go upstairs and go to sleep. It's been a long day. I'll come find you tomorrow before you leave. Lee. Don't let the spirits keep you up all night. Dude, you didn't need to say that. That was really mean. Oh, whatever. You said it yourself. She made you feel like an asshole. Besides, everybody needs a taste of their own medicine once in a while. You want another one? Yeah.
right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, this is Claire's haunted reenactment. Take one. Interior. The Yankee pedophile. Was that the piano? Was it playing by itself? It must be the ghost of Madeline O'Malley trying to tell me something. Show yourself, spirit. I said show yourself, spirit! She is poor, poor Madeline O'Malley. <laughs> you think she's prettier than me? Honestly? Yeah. She's a little homely for my taste. I think you're much prettier, Claire. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. In fact, Claire, I think you're one of the prettiest girls I know. Who are the others? Uh, my mother, my sister, and uh, that girl that works at the Dairy Queen. <laughs> the one with the lazy eye? I find laziness very attractive. <laughs> I really like you, Claire. I really like you, too. No, I mean it. You're just like the coolest person. Just, just really feel like we mesh. You know, I love the fact that you support me with the website, and I just love the fact that you take me seriously. It just means a lot. You're great. Even if I'm going a little bit crazy. You're not going crazy. You're, you're great. I would do anything for you. Really? Absolutely. Just, I like you so much. Hey, I have an idea. Me too, what's yours? Let's go to the basement and find out what that fucking ghost's problem is. Okay.
That's a good omen. Turn the recorder on. Was that? I tripped. Huh. Oh. Uh. Sorry. It's just a light thing. Just follow Spider me. web. Follow me. I think we should have brought breadcrumbs. Hang on. Here's something. It's weird. We're static. I heard that too the other night. Must be a bad cable. No. It's her. This is it. This is where they hit her body. We wish to speak to the spirit of Madeline O'Malley. If you are here with us, give us a sign. Make a noise if you can hear us. Why do you stay here, Madeline? Why does your spirit never rest? Whoa. Madeline, give us a sign. Did you feel that? Oh, I 
It's her. That was wind. No, she's with us right now. Alan, speak to us. We wish you no harm. Why do you stay here? Why does your spirit never rest? Wait, no. Madeline, we know that you're here with us right now. Speak to us. She's right behind you. Anymore. That's it. Why? Was it different than the times you saw her? There were no other times. What? I made it up. I never saw anything. I made it all up. I don't want anything to do with this anymore. This is just too fucked up. I gotta go. I need your help. Yeah. Help me. Hey. Lee. What are you doing in my room? Get out of here. No, no, please, please, uh, please. No, I will not help you. Please go away. Come 
gone. Why should I help you? So you can make fun of me some more? You know, I believe in what I do. And I don't believe in wasting my time on lowly hotel employees and their insulting ignorance. Lee, I'm sorry, okay? I should have defended you downstairs and I made a really big mistake, okay? But I have a problem. I'm scared and I'm alone and Madeline made contact with me and I don't know what else to do, okay? I don't know what else to do. Is there any more vodka over there? Check. Yeah, this one. Okay. Take me to where it happened. Get out of this hotel. You're in grave danger. You can't stay here any longer. What? I have to go get rest. Go get your things. Trust me. Sir, I'm sorry if I'm disturbing you, but there's been an emergency and I have to leave the hotel for a little bit. Sir, can you hear me in there?
Sir? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you like that. Please don't be mad no, at me. No, no, no. Listen, we need to get out of here no, right no, now. No, no, Claire, I, I have to tell you something. No, listen to me, okay? Remember the old man upstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? He's dead. He killed himself. He's dead. What? Yeah. He's dead. Did you call the police? No, not yet. And Lee, Lee said that it's not safe to be here anymore and that we need to leave right now. And, and I saw Madeline. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. It's okay. Please, please, please just get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore, please. All right. Okay, come on, let's go. Lee, she's still upstairs. Where is she? I don't know, I don't know. She's getting her things. All right, I'll go get her and you just stay put for a second. Are you gonna be all right down here for a minute? Yeah. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. Just hold on. Is that you? Lee? Lee? I don't want to go back down there. Are you down there?
right, guys, hold it up. Hold it up. All right, get her out of here. Banging on the door as hard as I could. I could hear her screaming. I was screaming for her to open up, but uh, she wouldn't. She called my name, but uh, I wasn't strong enough to break it down. This is at the bottom of the stairs. All right, listen, I'm gonna. I need you to come with us, answer some questions about the gentleman upstairs, and help get in contact with her family. Can you do that? Yeah, I just got to get my stuff. OK. I think you can tell the actress to hurry up while you're in there. We need her, too. Yeah. Oh, listen, uh, you sure you gave me all the names and numbers of the other guests? Nobody you might be forgetting. No, I gave you everything. There was just that other woman and her kid and, uh, Ron, the owner, but he doesn't get back from Barbados till tomorrow. All right, thanks. What are you doing in here? They're looking for you downstairs. I said I'd find you. We have to go to the police station now to answer some more questions. Did you hear me? I said we have to go. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? You could have done something. No. There's nothing anyone could have done. They're looking for you downstairs. <laughs> 